you know about the optical rotation and specific rotation and on which factor optical rotation is dependent and how to calculate the specific rotation and how to calculate the enantiomeric excess if you don't know please watch this lecture and if you know please watch this lecture as a revision lecture hello everyone i am subham from iit bhubaneswar and today i will clear all these topics in this lecture okay let's start first what is optical rotation optical rotation this is the actual angle by which plane polarized light is rotated when it passes through a sample okay let uh, this is a solution when a plane polarized light when a plane polarized light is passed through the solution about which angle it rotate that will be optical rotation okay and the specific rotation it it is equal to the observed rotation when we consider a concentration and the path length approximately unity okay and specific rotation is calculated in standardized form like at specific temperature and at specific concentration okay because uh, it is intrinsic property and it is standardized measure of a chiral compound okay means it is calculated at specific temperature but the optical rotation is varied with concentration and path length optical rotation also known by observed rotation okay let uh, understand this uh, language using some question of ms sohan book okay the first question i got here what is the specific rotation of the following molecule okay we have to calculate the specific rotation of the following molecule and uh, the observed rotation concentration and length is given okay that is alpha is equal to 4.42 degree and the concentration equal to 0.1 gram per ml and the path length path length equal to 10 cm yeah here one one important thing we have to consider that is the path length should be in decimeter path length should be in decimeter the unit of length should be decimeter and the concentration should be in gram per ml okay so first before finding uh, uh, before calculating the specific rotation we have to convert this unit into a decimeter okay so we know 110 um, i means 10 cm have 1 dm okay so we consider it as 1 dm now it easy to calculate specific rotation specific rotation equal to observed rotation 4.42 degree divided by concentration that is 0.1 gram per ml into length path length is in decimeter that will be 1 so 4.42 multiply 10 that will be 44.2 degree plus okay so answer of this op question is option c okay now the next question is if a sample of 2 butanol has an enantiomeric excess of 60% of 1 2 butanol and how much of each isomer is present like uh, there is uh, enantiomeric excess is given and we have to find out uh, the laboratory and exploratory before understanding this we i will give information about these things okay uh, what is enantiomeric excess enantiomeric excess enantiomeric excess means before understanding this you let uh, consider uh, as in previous lecture i gave information about the gave information about the r and s form and here dextro and levo laboratory dextro rotatory and levo rotatory okay r and s if a solution is have uh, if a solution have uh, 60% r configuration that mean Uh, 60% r and 40% s then if we 
like understand here uh, 60 percent r 40 percent of r will be neutralized by 40 percent of s that will be 20 percent r will be remaining in the solution after adding this that 20 percent is enantiomeric excess okay it is same like if just for understanding let uh, like 40 plus 40 and minus 20 after adding this we will get 20 that means 20 is extra extra means excess extra means excess this is just to understand okay and you know this is there is no plus and negative sign here for r and s or to dex to and level okay so in so many cases easily can be calculated here the, but the question is saying us that uh, two butanol two butanol okay has enantiomeric excess enantiomeric excess of 60 percent okay of 60 percent that mean if there is enantiomeric excess of 60 percent that mean one solution will be one have 80 percent dextro or levo we can say and one will be 20 percent levo levo rotatory okay dextro rotatory because when we add this in a so in a solution we get 60 percent remaining that will be here as i consider dextro rotatory will be 80 percent that will be 60 percent dextro this is the enantiomeric excess okay so here is the option uh, first option is 60 percent level and 40 percent dextro 60 percent level rotatory and 40 percent dextro rotatory means enantiomeric excess will be 20 percent and here 80 percent level rotatory and 20 percent dextro rotatory means enantiomeric excess will be 60 percent so option b is correct okay now uh, in previous lecture in previous lecture i discussed about the stereoisomer geometrical isomer just to recap those concept i take a question that is how many stereoisomer are there for one ethyl three methyl cyclohexane one ethyl and three methyl okay we have to calculate stereoisomer so how to calculate it stereoisomer you know it is unsymmetrical so for unsymmetrical how to calculate the stereoisomer you know that is 2 the power n here 1 stereo center 2 total number of carrier center we can say stereo center here is 2 n equal to 2 so 2 is 2 to the power 2 equal to 2 4 okay 2 raised to the power 2 equal to 4 so here the answer is here the answer is C okay thank you